It's been four uh, decades of a long uh, journey, but now the Voyager 2 spacecraft has finally bid farewell to our solar system. On a quiet morning at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a team of researchers monitoring deep space transmissions caught something unexpected, a faint irregular pulse that didn't match the usual data patterns from Voyager 2. This iconic spacecraft, launched in 1977 and now over 12 billion miles from Earth, had not sent anything anomalous in decades. Yet here it was, an unmistakable anomaly in its transmission, a signal embedded within the stream of background data, subtle but distinct enough to catch the attention of the world's most experienced deep space analysts. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Voyager 2 the second of the twin spacecraft launched by NASA as part of the Voyager program had long since left the heliosphere and entered interstellar space. It was expected that its communications would become weaker over time, given the staggering distance and its aging systems. But what unfolded in this new transmission defied every forecast and challenged the limits of current astrophysical understanding. It wasn't the signal's strength that drew astonishment, but the structured, almost rhythmic pattern embedded deep within its telemetry, far too deliberate to be noise and too structured to be an artifact of cosmic interference. At first, scientists assumed it must have been a system echo, perhaps a feedback loop caused by a glitch in its transmission subsystem. Redundancies and safety protocols embedded into Voyager's design were extensive, and the team had seen many data artifacts before, but this time the pattern repeated not just once, but in a loop that seemed to carry a format. A set of frequency pulses split across narrow bands and spaced with unsettling precision. The transmission was not random. It bore the hallmarks of something intentionally constructed, as though it had been meant to be found. Teams from JPL, SETI, and various global astrophysical observatories began poring over the data. Advanced algorithms and pattern recognition systems were deployed to dissect every fragment, and what they began to uncover pushed the conversation into uncharted territory. The signal, buried beneath layers of standard probe diagnostics, seemed to contain structured intervals, segments of data that, when mapped visually, took the form of repeating geometric waveforms. Even more bizarrely, some of these segments mirrored prime number sequences and harmonic oscillations, features typically associated with intelligent encoding. The implications were staggering. Voyager 2, which hadn't received a software update in decades, was now behaving in a way completely outside the bounds of its original programming. The spacecraft's onboard systems, designed in the 1970s, had no capacity for AI or adaptive reconfiguration. The only plausible paths were either an unthinkable internal malfunction that resulted in a spontaneously ordered data sequence or the influence of an external force, something that had interfaced with Voyager's communication systems and rerouted its outgoing message. No one wanted to say it out loud at first. Even among the most seasoned scientists, the idea seemed too outrageous, that perhaps Voyager 2 had been touched, literally or electromagnetically, by something beyond human understanding. But the data didn't lie. And as international space agencies got involved, Reviewing copies of the transmission independently, consensus began to solidify around one point. This was not a natural event. It wasn't solar wind interference or gravitational lensing. The transmission was deliberate. What made this even more haunting was the timing. Voyager 2 had, for decades, traveled through the void in relative silence. It sent back occasional diagnostics and ambient interstellar data, like magnetic field strength and particle readings. Yet nothing absolutely nothing, indicated the presence of anything unusual around it. There were no high-energy bursts, no nearby stars with flaring events, no black hole proximity alerts. It had been sailing smoothly through the endless dark until now. The idea of something, or someone, manipulating Voyager 2's systems without triggering any mechanical or energetic disturbances posed deep questions. If this was the result of contact, then it had been made in a way that avoided detection by all our existing instruments. No heat, no light, no radiation. Just a subtle whisper hidden in an old probe's voice like a message smuggled through time and space. Some theorists speculated that an intelligence might have encountered Voyager 2 and decided it wasn't ready to make itself fully known, but instead chose to leave a breadcrumb, a signature written in Voyager's own language. 
A remarkable feature of the hidden transmission was how it mirrored aspects of the so-called Golden Record. The phonograph disc mounted on both Voyager spacecraft intended as a message to any intelligent life that might find them. The newly detected waveform contained echoes of harmonic structures similar to those encoded in the original record, but the harmonics were warped slightly, refracted through a pattern that suggested transformation, like someone responding in kind, but with their own dialect. The signal wasn't a direct mimicry, but it had familiarity to it. And that familiarity was the most chilling part. It was as if the message was saying, we heard you. Teams worked around the clock, attempting to trace the origin of this modulation. Some engineers tried to determine if Voyager 2's own circuitry could have deteriorated in such a precise way as to cause this. The odds, however, were astronomical. The system responsible for handling its transmission had redundancy built in on every level. Even minor power fluctuations were anticipated in its design, and none of those could account for what looked like a nested language pattern. What also fueled the mystery was the length of the signal. It wasn't a blip. It went on for several minutes. Given the limited battery power of the probe, this was an extravagant expenditure of energy for something that served no technical diagnostic purpose. Why had Voyager Systems prioritized this signal, or was it being made to do so? As the story broke to the public, theories exploded across the globe. Some pointed to long-held beliefs about extraterrestrial intelligence, suggesting that Voyager had finally fulfilled its purpose, not as a scientific instrument, but as a beacon. Others speculated that we had misunderstood the nature of interstellar space, that the void was not empty but filled with forces or entities we had never learned to perceive. But within the scientific community, the implications reached even deeper. If Voyager 2 had truly received an intentional modification to its transmission, it changed the entire understanding of communication beyond Earth. It suggested not only the presence of intelligence, but an intelligence that had waited, perhaps patiently, perhaps for decades, before making its first gesture through our own creation. That idea alone was enough to shake the foundations of astrophysics, cosmology, and even philosophy. There was also an unnerving sense of reciprocity. Humanity had launched Voyager as a message in a bottle, a simple declaration that we exist. Now, decades later, the bottle had been touched, possibly opened, and returned subtly altered. And whatever had done so had remained utterly silent apart from this singular whisper. The lack of further activity didn't lessen the impact. It intensified it. A voice that says only one thing tends to say it with meaning. Among those studying the data, a quiet urgency began to grow. Was this the first part of a sequence? Was the transmission a test to see if we could decipher it? A kind of interstellar handshake extended to those capable of understanding? Or was it merely a marker, like a signature left at the edge of our reach, indicating the boundary of something greater? If Voyager 2 had truly been contacted, it meant that communication across the stars was possible, not in abstract theory, but in reality. It meant that a message could be passed through a repurposed signal that something out there knew how to read our tools and speak back through them. More than that, it showed patience. Whatever had done this had waited for a moment when the world was listening and had chosen to act not with spectacle, but with precision. That restraint was perhaps the most intelligent signal of all. As further analysis continued, fragments of the message were parsed into what some claimed were mathematical keys, structures that hinted at non-human logic yet consistent patterns that could be predicted and extended. Whether it was a code or a symbolic artifact remained hotly debated, but no one could deny that it was real. The data logs from Voyager's communication systems matched across all observatories. The timestamps aligned. The anomalies were present in all redundant recordings. It wasn't a mistake. Engineers are continuing to examine the exact moment the signal began. Looking at Voyager's path, its relative position in space, and any nearby celestial phenomena that could have triggered an interaction. Nothing out of the ordinary has yet been found. But there's an odd poetry to the fact that Voyager, now drifting in the most distant dark, may have been found before we found anything else. The event has also reinvigorated debates over the ethics and risks of broadcasting messages into the cosmos. For decades, humanity has debated whether to send out strong signals or remain quiet in the cosmic forest. 
Voyager 2's signal seems to suggest that even silent ships can speak, if someone chooses to use them. And if that's true, then the galaxy might be a much more connected place than we ever imagined, just running on frequencies we haven't yet learned to hear. For now, Voyager 2 continues its journey, as it has for nearly 50 years, quiet and undisturbed. But those few minutes of strange, structured signal have altered the trajectory of our imagination forever. Whether it was a touch from beyond or a puzzle from within, one thing is certain. The old spacecraft has spoken again. And this time, the universe might be listening too. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 2's hidden transmission? What do you expect next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.